Welcome to Delphi, Indiana, where our storied past is fueling a stellar future. Where yesteryear's hand-dug canals now bring a new kind of commerce, heritage tourism. Enthusiasm is indeed Delphi's hallmark, along with volunteers and hard work. In the new Hoosier Heartland Highway, just south of Delphi, some might think the highway will bypass us. We say it is opening new opportunities. We're heading into really a new era. It's kind of the renaissance for Delphi. Delphi has been restored. It's improving because of the whole view, the curb appeal. People want to come and invest in Delphi. Rather than rising from the ashes, this community is preventing the fire by rebuilding downtown. Enthusiasm, synergy, and a cooperative spirit are on fire in Delphi. Deputies are investigating multiple reports of burglaries in rural Carroll County. Sheriff Tobe Lesenby says it's a scenario that's become more and more common over the last couple of months. He says they've been taking place during the day, mostly in the northeastern part of the county. He encourages rural homeowners to take precaution in order to avoid becoming a victim. We encourage folks to uh, get a security system uh, if, if they feel that is necessary. Making sure doors and windows are locked as well as leaving cars parked in the driveway can discourage criminals. Lesenby asks residents to stay vigilant and report suspicious or unusual behavior. Carroll County Sheriff's Office is investigating a pair of burglaries. Investigators say those burglaries are beginning to happen in the middle of the day. Since the end of March, Lesenby says deputies have investigated multiple reports of break-ins and thefts. The burglaries are happening between the hours of 8 and 5. I guess the word I hone in on is, is being vigilant. And the sheriff's office needs the public's help with those problems. Lesenby says if you see something suspicious, report it. Reporting in Carroll County, Brittany Tyner, News 18.
should people in the community be afraid right now based upon what you've seen and you know? Um. I think people are smart enough in our community to draw their own conclusions about what they should feel and shouldn't feel, and uh, they are able to draw their own conclusions about this whole situation, I think, quite successfully. And people might be wondering if there's somebody running around this community preying on people. Mm -hmm. I understand what you're saying. Okay. Should people in this community be concerned about someone running around targeting kids? My response is is no. I feel safe for this community. So as far as I'm concerned, yes, there is somebody out there that did this horrendous crime. But um, you know, be more mindful and and uh, watch watch their surroundings, the environment a little closer. I don't want to discourage anyone from using the system and as far as the trail system, it's, it's there for a purpose for recreation. I feel that folks should continue with business as usual. I'm not real sure even, even as, as sheriff of this county, if we really know how to react or how to respond because again, we've never had this. And so here we are. So. You know, what's what's the textbook answer here on responding to this? I'm not sure if there is one.